In this video, we are going to look at Happy City, a delightful game from GameRight, where players build their own mini metropolis. In order to win, players have to analyze the multiplication of factors to build the happier city. So let's find out how the game plays. I'm Leanne and I help parents have fun while teaching their kids the skills that they need. If this is something that you're interested in, make sure to subscribe. Happy City comes with small and handy cards to keep the play space manageable on your game table. Now, there are three sets of building cards at different price ranges. These cost one to three coins, these four to six coins, and these seven to nine coins each. Their backings will indicate how much the buildings would cost, as well as give you an indication of the different probabilities each card occurs in the stack. There are also optional bonus building cards that can be used. Take the number of players and add two more for the total number of bonus cards in play. So in a three player game, you take three and add two to lay out five cards. At a later time, you can level up by using cards from the expert bonus building cards deck. This is when players are more experienced, but we won't be using these cards in this game, so we'll set that aside. There are also three sets of resident cards, and these offer you one, two, and three citizens respectively, and starting happy market cards for each player. Experienced players using the expert bonus cards variant can choose a family happy market colored card. Since we are playing the regular family variation, we will start with the white backing. This will form the first of our little town's landmarks that we build onward. Now there are also 30 pieces of really well-made thick cardboard coins and these have such a nice feel to it and should be fairly long lasting. Each player will start with two. Now we're ready to play. The object of Happy City is to be the mayor of the happiest city, which is calculated by multiplying the number of citizens by the number of hearts. The very core of this game is to gain more citizens and more hearts in order to get the largest product. So no more shying away from small number multiplication. It will be a family favorite for those who enjoy city building games like King Domino and Machi Koro, but even quicker. It packs in city building, engine building, resource management, tile drafting and tableau laying all in just 10 rounds. This is definitely one for families with elementary school going aged kids as well because it's got such a fun and cute design. Obviously, the multiplication is a big factor for us. In each round, players generate income from their buildings equal to the coins shown at the bottom of their cards. Here, my cards indicate a total of three. So I will start my round drawing three coins from the bank. Then players move to the second phase and they may discard any one building card from the table if they wish and reveal cards from the various building decks of their choice so that at any time there are three available for purchase. Here I can use my three coins to buy these cards. It's here that players have to evaluate between cards which either increase their citizen factors or their heart factors. You might want to keep an abacus and a scratch pad handy for players who are new to multiplication so that they can rely on those tools while learning the game itself. If I pick a card with two hearts, that will take me to four hearts multiplied by three citizens, which is 12. If I pick a card with two citizens, that would take me to two hearts multiplied by five citizens, which would take me to 10. So even though both cards offer me two of either hearts or citizens, only one of these cards will be better for me. 
So I'm going to take the card with two hearts now. And if players buy a card that meets the conditions for an available bonus building card, they may also claim it once during the entire game. They will add that to their tableau as well. Play keeps going on until a player adds their 10th card to the city. The winner is the player whose city has the highest happiness index. If you want to learn other games that will help your kids and family enjoy multiplication, make sure to check out the video on Combo Clash and Ohanami in the links below or at the end of this video. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Yay!